folks at home. This is Mike from All Season Outdoors. Uh, what we're doing today is a little bit different than what we normally do. We normally produce hunting videos, but uh, the name of our channel is All Season Outdoors. There is absolutely nothing we could be hunting right now. Um, we may do some fishing videos a little bit this spring. Um, you know, we're already here in southern Indiana working into summertime, but what we're here to do today is we are out doing a little bit of shooting. Um, these are, and, and we're going to see both guns, but these are our long range precision guns, and long range is a relative term to what you're doing with your stuff at home. Um, we built these guns specifically to go out to a thousand yards. There's a lot of guns and calibers out there that will go out a lot further than that. But this is what these particular wep weapon systems were built for. So um, we'll go over a little bit what we're doing here today and, and what's going on. This here is my weapon system. Uh, basically an AR-15. We custom built it and there will probably be another show in the future of, of those builds. Uh, Kenny, you know, my partner on this, my brother, he is actually the gunsmith that builds all these guns. But I'll give you a rough overview of what we're looking at here. This is a Sanders Armory 24 inch upper side charger AR. Um, I chose to go with a side charger because I have been a shotgun guy my whole life and reaching up to pull that bolt on the side of the gun is so much more natural for me than the rear charger of an AR. <laughs> so that is, that's why I went there. Uh, it's a it's an Anderson uh, manufacturing lower. Um, we bought it as a strip lower, pieced it together. Geisley parts kit, um, Timney two stage target trigger. I went with the Luth uh, Chubby Girl hand grip. Uh, I've got a Luth AR MB3 stock on it. This thing's fully adjustable, goes anywhere you could ever imagine. Um, it's pretty comfortable. I've got it set pretty conservative, but that it, it fits me that way. I mean, the comb is adjustable, the cheek, everything moves any direction you can imagine. It, it, it's six-way six axis adjustable. Uh, sitting on top of it, I've got an American Defense Company mount in flat dark earth. It is their quick detach mount. And on top of that, we've got the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2. As far as a bipod, I'm a bipod. I am running a fixed UTG uh, M lock, mounts to the free floating hand guard. Uh, we'll see on the other gun a little bit later an Atlas that, that, that mounts to a Picatinny rail. So we'll get into that a little bit. We're shooting the Hornady Black. This 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 caliber is a 6.5 Grendel. Um, not a lot of options as far as ammunition that's out there unless you're into hand loading, which we're not yet. So what we're going to do today is we're going to shoot a few shots at 100 yards. We're prob probably going to move it back out to somewhere around three to 400-ish. Um, it really depends on where we can get. Out in the middle of the field today is, is muddy, muddy, muddy. We actually had to sit in the truck and wait out a rainstorm. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, give us some comments. Give us some feedback. Give us some ideas, whatever you guys want to see. Um, but we're gonna do some shooting now and uh, see how that goes. All right, guys, uh, we put Mike's build up. We pulled mine out. We're gonna run through it real quick. Uh, once again, it's 6.5 Grendel. That's kind of the caliber we looked at staying with an AR-15 platform. Uh, this is another gun that I built from the ground up, started with strip parts, went on from there. Uh, this one we actually started with, once again, the Anderson strip lower. It's got a Dirty Bird parts kit in it. It's got a Timney Target 2. Uh, I went with a straight blade uh, trigger. It is two, uh, two stage, two pound. Uh, I've got it with the Magpul uh, uh, grip. I went with a Magpul SR, uh, SLS uh, stock on mine. I'm running a Bear Creek Archery or uh, Arsenal uh, 6.5 Grendel, 24 inch stainless steel. Uh, I went with a Sanders muzzle brake. I've got it topped with American Defense Company quick detach uh, uh, mount. I'm running right now a Bushnell Nitro uh, scope. It is a very nice scope. I think it's gonna get me, we've had it out to a thousand. It will do everything that I want it to do until I start stretching out further. I've got the uh, uh, Wheeler Engineering uh, anti-cant level. I've got the one that folds back and forth so it stays out of the way. Uh, I went ahead and ran an Atlas um, bipod. Uh, it does have the quick 
uh, detached lever on it made by American Defense. It does mount to a Picatinny rail. Uh, this gun is really performed as well as I could expect for it. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we do a lot of bench shooting. This bench here, uh, we made. Uh, it started out as a log at a friend of ours' sawmill, and we, in a day, took it from a tree to a finished bench. This was a design that we seen on the internet that we just kind of adapted to what we needed. The uh, whole thing weighs about 50 pounds. We made it to where it fits inside the fender wheels of a back of a pickup truck. We just pick it up, take it where we want to. Uh, about everything we do, we build ourselves. We built our table. We built our mount for uh, uh, our steel targets. We cut our own steel targets and made our own steel targets. Uh, we are by no means well funded, and we do a lot of stuff that the normal guy at home would have to do. Uh, you know, looking at shooting benches, they they get pretty pricey. So we got together. I think all together we may only have about a hundred bucks in this one. Now, granted, we do have a guy that has a sawmill. It helps out a lot. But even if you wanted to buy the wood and build this, I don't think you'd spend probably more than 200 bucks in it. So uh, we're going to get the uh, target set up. We're going to do a little bit of shooting. Stay with us. What we're going to do, we're just going to play around, maybe shoot a five, six shot group at 100 yards. Um, then, then we're going to stretch it out a little bit. Uh, it's hot today. Um, We've only been playing with these particular systems for three or four months now, and we did a lot of it in, in the cold weather after deer season. Um, so we really, you know, the weather plays a big deal when you start stretching these things out a little bit. So we haven't actually got to play as it's got hot. It's in the 90s today. Luckily, we have no wind, but the horse flies are horrible. Just So if you see us jerk around a little bit, we, we do have some flies. So uh, hang out with us. We're going to make a couple shots here. I'm going to put my ears on, and uh, we'll see what we can't do at 100 yards playing around, see what kind of groups we can't turn out with this Grendel. Shooter ready. Spotter ready. Going hot. Weapon system clear. All right, folks, we're back down here at the target now. We've uh, made our muddy walk through the cornfield at, at 100 yards. First off, I want to talk about a little bit what we built for a stand. You guys can build this at home. Anybody can build this. Basically, we're using two by four legs. I happened to find a two by six. Uh, we cut all this on the sawmill, but you don't have to cut it on a sawmill. You can go to any you know lumber store and get two by fours. Those are just screw in eyes. We found some scrap steel, friends of ours, different things, work at different companies. Ask around, you'll be surprised what kind of scraps you can come up with for next to nothing. Weld some chain to it. We've taken this thing and stretched it out to a thousand. We shot it at a hundred. Whatever you guys feel like you want to do. Long range is, is all about you. A um, hundred yards may be long range to you and that's great. Get out, shoot, have fun. Um, but that's what we've built here, and, and basically these, these attachments, we got at Royal King, they're sawhorse attachments. Um, we'll screw them to the legs, they fold in, we pack this thing in the back of the truck. Everything fits in one place, it, it's nice. You know, we don't necessarily want to lay prone in a muddy day today to shoot out long range, that's why we built the things we built. 
But anyway, here's the group we put together at 100 yards today. It's not by any means stellar or perfect. Um, you know, we're off a little bit from dead center, but that's a really big uh, target for 100 yards to say, you know, hey, I want to shoot the center of that orange. Uh, the center is, is kind of relative to what you're seeing. But that's what we've got today. That's where we shot. We're going to touch this up. We're going to go back, and uh, Kenny's going to do a little shooting. And uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We've uh, we've switched around. Got my gun out. Uh, we still got the target at 100 yards. Uh, we're going to shoot about a five-shot group and uh, go down and check it out. Move the target back, and then we're going to start stretching her out a little bit. guys I say as you see the air our platform I mean everybody that shoots them they just roll them out uh, looks like I've got an okay group down there we're gonna walk down there check it out and then we're gonna stretch us out stay with us here's five shot group we just shot I say had three really good ones had a couple I pulled a little low uh, they broke a little low uh, but uh, we're gonna pick this up we're gonna move her back a few uh, hundred yards and uh, put a few more down range stay with us all right, we just got our uh, friend, the insurgent, hung up. We couldn't actually drive back to get real far here today. I'm sorry, guys, it rained, guys and gals. It rained just before. We, we sat in the truck for half an hour watching the rain. So our long distance today is 285. Um, this target here, we got to thank a friend that uh, gave us some scrap pieces. Uh, three, uh, it's three inch, three eighths inch plate. Uh, I welded them together. Yep, it's a big target. It's a 24 by 36 with a six by nine head. Um, you may say that's big for a human silhouette, but it's about my size if that makes you feel better. So we're gonna touch up a little paint on it. We're gonna make some shots at 285. Future videos, we're gonna come back and stretch this thing out. I mean, uh, you know, we've been to a thousand on this target, so uh, that's coming in the future. We're just locked today by weather, mud, and, and uh, what the old Ford Raptor can get to. So we're going to touch it up and uh, we'll be back to shooting in a minute. guys we've moved back we're at 285 and uh, as you can see we got our insurgent down there uh, I've got five rounds in the gun I'm gonna send a few down range and uh, then we're gonna swap over let Mike send a few down range go down there check out the target stay with us about to make some noise weapons going hot
up and safe and clear. Welcome back to All Season Outdoors. Uh, we've got our friend the Insurgent set up. We're getting ready to uh, do some 285 shooting. Kenny's made his shots. So we're gonna let this one here do some shooting. Um, I actually didn't count what I put in the gun. I think I've got seven or eight. I'm gonna make a few center body mass shots if those go well and uh, I've got my dope right. Um, for 285, my Hornady Doff ballistics calculator tells me uh, 3.75 MOA. We're both MOA guys. For you mill guys, you can do the math and figure that out if you so choose. Uh, but if we can make some good center bias shots, we're going to try to do some head shots and see how it goes. Stay with us. Gun is hot. Shooter ready. Fire one ready. That was a little high. Gonna make an adjustment here. All right, that's center mass. We're gonna try to do some head shots now. The head is perfectly clean. Gun is clear. Safety on. All right, we're here to wrap up this video today of, uh, well, we, we intended on long range shooting, but I guess we would call this medium range shooting. Um, and, and like I say, that is a term that gets thrown around a lot, especially on the internet or with your friends and things. Long range shooting can be anything to you. Um, you know, don't let anybody ever tell you what long range is or what you should be able to shoot. Um, I hand, I know, only know a handful of people that can honestly say have made a thousand yard shot. So just get out, shoot, have fun. If you have a rifle and you want to shoot, just shoot it. It, it. You don't have to purposely build anything like we did. But here is the end of the day target. Um, the wind did pick up on us a little bit. Blew these here off to the right a little bit. Um, I wasn't putting any windage in the gun. Kenny wasn't putting any windage in the gun. Had a few center body mass hits here. This was my first shot, was a little bit high. I made an adjustment, came down. Then I did some head shooting and, and put five or so, six in the head. So, you know, a six by nine plate, that's not a great group by any means, but uh, at 285, no, hold, no wind holds. Uh, I'll take that every day. Every deer I would have shot at at 285 was in big trouble. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, comment, let us know what you like. If there's anything uh, you want to see in particular, please let us know. We, uh, we've we got a summer full of nothing to do because uh, hunting season's still months away. Thanks and come back and see us.